Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from round four of the Galactic Championship, the finale, the battle for Alderaan. In this event that has a narrative that will be formed and uh, contoured by the games that you watch on stream, this round we have Jonathan Hall versus David Chabot, J David Reckless Chabot. We got scum on scum in our narrative right now. The bounty hunters start fighting against each other, opposing factions. Though they were hired by the Empire, they couldn't help but try to get a little bit of revenge in the skirmish. Today, I am joined by William Haywood. Hello, Dion. Hello, everyone out there. James Ritter. Hey, guys. And Jason Graham. Hello. All right, guys, we're, we're going to go ahead and have you break down these lists. Everybody at home, it is time for you to choose your champion. But before that, let me remind you that this round and all of our rounds this weekend are brought to you by our GSP patrons. If you want to be a part of our largest group of supporters, you can type exclamation point Patreon. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Click the link and join any of the levels there. Every little bit helps. And without you guys, the Galactic Championship Series would not have happened. Paint Wars would not have happened. So many things that we do just aren't even possible. Uh, looks like we got to update the scum list on the right side when we have a moment. Uh, but shout out anybody who becomes a patron this month uh, in November, you will be receiving a double set of swag. You're not only going to get our upcoming uh, scum and villainy squadron, you're also going to get your hands on some of that shadow squadron swag, depending on the level that you end up at. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. It is time to choose your champion, and of course, it's time to break down those lists. Hit it, Will and James. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to take here uh, David Chambon's list on the bet to all uh, champion. It's something I've been looking at uh, as well, testing out different I-5 jousting squads. Uh, and this is the scum version of it. Uh, the... Uh, I-5 pilots here are Old Terok in the Fang Fighter. Old Terok can strip green tokens if someone's looking at them at range 1. Uh, it does have that Concord Concordia face-off, so it gets a free evade when people shoot at him range 1. Uh, loves to dive in there, especially with those linked reposition actions. Uh, speaking of diving into range 1, that's... Uh, another person who likes to do it is Talon Bane Cobra. Uh, they get a extra range dice at range three and one. So they get to roll four dice at long range and five dice uh, at close range. Uh, we have here as well Captain Nim uh, continuing the I-5s. Uh, Nim's in the Skurg. Uh, Basically with a blank ability. He's just an I-5 Skurg. But does have Gamut Key uh, to hold on to green tokens uh, at ship's range 0 to 1. That's every other round for Gamut Key. And rounding off the list, I love this little cheap Cavill. Uh, Cavill, of course, is rolling a 3 dice, 4 dice at range 1 dorsal turret. And has the new Ion uh, missile slot filled out with Ion missiles. Uh, uh, the Y-Wings recently changed out their gunners for Ions. And so, yeah, four points of upgrades to get him some three dice weapons. Uh, super, super affordable. Love to see it. Uh, and uh, very interesting. So didn't bring any bombs on Nim. Uh, using more of them as a support piece. Uh, what, er is, what is this scum facing off against, James? It's, it's scum. More scum. More scum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, pretty interesting list. You usually see um, some of these IG aggressors, um, usually either two brobots or three brobots. But he said, instead of that third bot, I'm going to bring Namlam because that guy is way too cheap. <laughs> so he has IGB, 
uh, ha with the elusive t uh, talent, jamming beam, auto blasters, seismic charges, contraband cybernetics, and he has IGC with the exact same loadout. Uh, and to round the list, he has Nom Lum in the Jumpmaster 5000 with the Auto Blasters, IG D Crew, and Dengar. So all of those guys can share all their abilities. So nice. Well, here like we a go. Very fun list. We got a first attack here. Two hits and a crit from Cavill going into IG 88B. And uh, just going to have to spend the evade there to only take two damage. Yep, we see those big GSP tokens as uh, the elusive charge. Uh, so only only ends up taking uh, one damage and one ion. That was uh, Cavill's ion missiles. Uh, ion missile, yes. Here we go. One hit. Coming in from Captain Nim. Three. <laughs> Four focuses. That's a eight eight green dice, zero squiggles. Squiggles. <laughs> Wanna buy a squiggle? Squiggle. <laughs> All right. IG eighty eight C. Nothing here. IG B. Going into Cavill. Here we go. We got hit crit. And that is another set of damage getting dealt out two shields on Cavill. Uh, yep, Jason, I called out uh, primary. Yes, Jason, when you have a second, can you go ahead and colorize Nom Lom's base as green so you do it by doing uh, doing the color on the card? Just so that we have, like, the color, uh, the ones that have, like, different colors on them versus ones that are, are stock would help just to identify which one is which. I I got it. Cool. All right. So we got that. Fantastic. There you go. It's easier to identify the different teams now, now that we have that. Okay. So looking at our board state, I, I like I like David's approach here. He's got all four of his ships uh, coming from the top. He's going to be able to make a nice kill box. What, what do you think of the approach here, Will? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's uh, able to surround uh, these IGs and try to get some uh, focus fire in there. I can only assume that Talonbrain's cutting in, um, but he does need to get into that range one, start taking uh, those big five dice attacks. Uh, might be just trying to get past the ships with IGB. Uh, maybe a... Ooh, actually, he's moving first, isn't he, against these I-5s. So most likely won't be able to do like a 4K there. So I'm not sure what direction he's going to go. Maybe going in black. Captain Nim can be hard to say. Nor uh, You would assume that Namla would be the one up front. Uh, to try to yeah, that punish... Is, uh, that is interesting, yeah. Hey, he may, maybe he's down. keeping him behind to just jam up the works after, after like, the turnarounds, maybe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, especially yeah. with those seismic yeah. charges, you, you don't really want to bomb your friends. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, yeah, we did see that Gallant Key trigger uh, to hold Nim's focus out there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a good way to get some double modification on it's the coming offense. In, it's coming in. like Because Captain Nim doesn't have any bombs or anything. He's just nope. there to be I-5, 10 health, punching stuff with Gallant Key. Yep. Yep. Uh, support piece when you need it. Um, otherwise, it's just a good way to prevent... Um, like tokens being lost. Yeah, you could you could reach for like a turret or a bomb or something, um, but maybe must not be putting out enough damage. So needs that common key, and we do oh. have that sloop here to get the elusive back. It did fit in, um, very nicely there. 
He did do the contraband cybernetics as well. Good call. Good call. What will his action be? Will it be double calculate? Will he boost? Should I get some blocks in? All right. I like nah. it. Just, just calculate. <laughs> just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah. You should be safe from Talon Bane and Campbell for the time being. I think it's pretty cool that uh, Jonathan also, you know, doing so well with this list despite not having uh, advanced sensors. You know, like that has usually been a, a staple mm -hmm. on these IGs. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty interesting to see how well he's doing with the list despite that. Yeah, yeah without uh, without IGA and without advanced sensors, it really is going to hurt their action economy to sloop. You're only getting back that elusive recharge. Mm -hmm. But he has he has the contrabands. So that's like advanced sensors light. Advanced yeah, sensors one time once. use advanced. <laughs> yeah. <one. laughs> oh man. Yeah, but but not... the adva advanced sensors though is 11 points on these guys now. True. That. Yeah. Yeah. Nim range Ooh, one. I think I think you were calling it out right there. All right, uh, target lock oh, yeah. and focus range one into eighty eight. Called the sloop. Mm-hmm. I assume just Cavill. I think Cavill just uh, focuses. He has a good shot into IGC if he wanted to, or he could rotate to hit IGB. Yeah, going all in here. You already have three shots on it. He's gonna keep. But keep it to that side. That's interesting. Yeah, because when he turns next round, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all messed up now. <laughs> it's, it's all wrong. <laughs> it's all wrong. He's gonna have to just rotate it later on, which is unfortunate. But yeah, uh, I mean, it's still a four dice attack, though. Yeah, I think I would, I would be fine with just rolling the four dice. And maybe he's thinking that if he kills IGB with his other two ships, that he'll be able to still shoot. All right, well, here we go. Ta Talon Bane, one hit. Uh, that is going to be a single calculate needing to be spent to avoid the damage, one for one. Still waiting for these IGs to actually turn on. They're attempting uh, the, their, their th evade thrusters or something because they are not rolling any squiggles. Hit crit focus from downtown. Debating whether yeah, or not only... to spend the focus. You got a range three shot from Nom Lom. Yeah. I, I think you do you're it. You're fine. All right. You're going to be able to push the crit uh, onto the shields, I believe, right? That's yellow. Yep. You got it. You got elusive. Yeah, he's going to elusive first. Oh. See if it helps him. Nope. So you got to spend the calculate. Blank to blank. It seems elusive today. I... Those evades have been elusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Especially if, yeah, well, he's... <laughs> if he's... for uh, for poor Jonathan here, he has not rolled many. Woo! Cavill, uh, range one with woof. his dorsal turret, four hits and more pain, only more pain. Elusive <laughs> does, does nothing oh again. Gosh. That's two hits, two crits going into IGB. Shield. And we're gonna we get a little little shuffle shuffle hit. First crit is direct hit going into that IG. Hold, hold on, the 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 first this the first card is a crit as well. Oh, oh no, no. It's, still it's still a direct still hit direct. and a and weapons a failure. <laughs> oh goodness. Man. Yeah, throw those dice away. Yeah, uh, he does. He can throw it away. He can get new ones, and they're all bad. <laughs> Uh man, he's got one natural of eight so far after yeah. rolling so many dice. Hate to see it. That escalated quickly. Alrighty. So that was that was a failed I don't know what that roll was. Target lock, and this oh, is going to be two hits now. and a crit looking from Nim into IG-88B. You need these squiggles to stay alive. Damn. There's oh, the no. natties. <laughs> he's been hiding them weird. the whole time. <laughs> Damage engine. Uh, not a big deal. He's already stressed. 
Oh my goodness. I'm stressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> So IG88B, after the first engage here, sitting at one hole. And here we go. IG88B trying to get some revenge. Not happening. Single hit. Hey, gets to reshoot with the auto blaster for two dice. Yeah, two dice. Uh, that's uh, IG88B's ability if you miss. From a bonus cannon attack. Two hits. Guaranteed at least one. You'll get two. And remember, Cavill there got the four dice due to his ability. And we got one hit. Spend calculate for two. Guaranteed another one, and you'll take two from Nim. Shields are down. Oh, we have a we range. Can just keep shot. piling into Nim. Yep. Yeah, try to get some half points here quick. You just need one. There you go. You just need one. And the, the green dice continue to fail. What is happening? <laughs> There's just no evades anywhere. <laughs> this this existence, you know, it's a reality. You know, it's it's not common, but we're here. <laughs> There's been like one what? evade of like thirty green dice. <laughs> well, we saw the triple evade. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about the triple evades. Yeah, that balances it out. It right? does not balance <laughs> it out, Dio. <laughs> uh. Yeah, not what you want to see on your three agility ship. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, uh, these IG uh, aggressors really do depend on their green dice variants a lot, uh, which mm -hmm. you can kind of fix with the elusive. But, oh man, like when you just roll no greens, um, you, you know, you don't roll any of aids on those really, you, and you're paying for those three agility. Yep. Oh yeah, and and, and if it, if it just doesn't work, and you're rolling less of aids than than the one agility ships out there, it feels real bad. <laughs> so Namlam needs to come in here and uh, and clean up, right? Like that's that's your only hope. Feels that way. Like, yeah, I don't think there's that. an exit lane for IG eighty eight B. Now with uh, Talon, or, yeah, now with Talon Bane and Old Terok covering the outsides here. Yeah, Talon Bane doesn't have a, good, a lot of good options uh, to to maneuver because that dial isn't great. Mm, what's the? They got one and two banks, don't they? Do they? Do yeah. they have the one and two? They one and two, yeah. Oh, that's not terrible. I mean, you got enough enough to maneuver around Cavill here. Yeah, I guess if Cavill moves first because they are the same initiative, Cavill does it too hard, and then Talon does a Talon Bane does a two bank. Man, this has been a interesting game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It happens. It happens to the best of us. That IG88, obviously, IG88B had a malfunction and yeah. <laughs> uh, was was not able to uh, to hold it. Leap borp. I don't know what greens are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there there are plenty of people who believe their green dice are cursed. Who 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 believe by watching simply watching the stream you are causing <laughs> the green dice to fail? <laughs> Let me know if that's you in the chat. <laughs> oh, that was uh, Marcel earlier. He had negative fifteen Oof. <laughs> greens. Oof. Must not even be rolling them at that point. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right though, like. Come on, that's an outlier, right? We gotta see it's the, an, the it's an outlier, game, right? <laughs> right? It's gotta be an outlier. Ooh. <laughs> now here Ooh, we go. Wow, the three bank does end up fitting around the cloud, so gonna be able to have yeah. his attack and his action. Oh man, if if a talent that may bump, that may make bump both those ships bump. Sorry, trying to get trying to get in the way. 
with the rule set that we are using, of course, blocking uh, at this point in time does prevent actions. You can't fire at range zero, so you're protecting Nom Lom as well as reducing the action and economy of your enemy. Hey, at the, at this point, I think he'd be happy if uh, if uh, if his ships were if David's ships were shooting at Nom Lom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like IG-88B ends up bumping into C. Decides to activate Campbell first yeah, he did, here. he did the two bank. Hmm. Ooh, that is... That is a spicy auto blaster right there. Well, not much sound bank could do. <laughs> yeah. If only you had some kind of like boost maneuver to. <laughs> All right. I so know that's... Captain Nim does end up clearing that three bank just barely. Do you, do you boost in for range one? Oh, yeah. Boost in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Concord Dawn. Let's go. Yeah, and there it is. Oh, oh, Takes boy. the angle boost. <laughs> You're guaranteed at least one evade there. All right, like you can't take that away. Yeah, yeah. can't be wrong. Literally, yeah. Just get, just don't roll green dice. Just put one on the table. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. We'll probably see red go down here. Old T coming in for the kill. Four on three. Oh, that Hit or maybe not. Looking for looking for the average. That's the average. No greens Ugh. in sight. No green tokens in sight. That's gonna call it for IG eighty eight B. Man, that is very unfortunate. Losing that uh auto blaster double tap, that's kinda feels bad. Yeah, you're really gonna need it to finish off uh old T in the end here. Um but not not too slow against the one agility ships. Mm. Spending the target lock, going into the other IG. Hit crit from mm -hmm. Talonbane. Spends calculate and makes it one crit. Bounces off the shield. So that means that the double tap ability of IG ADAB is no longer active on the table for Nomlom and IG 88C. Cavill coming in will have a three dice. No, no, sorry. That's his own teammate. He doesn't. He will not have any shots. <laughs> don't shoot those. <laughs> don't, don't shoot, shoot your, your teammates yet. Not yet. You can't. Don't backstab no, them quite I mean, yet. Wait, wait, wait until someone pays you to do it. First. That's right. Exactly. Range one shot. Big <laughs> money here from Nim. Spends the focus for two hits and a crit. And that's going to be a single agility for Nim. Nom. Ooh, we're going to see that Dengar trigger. Oh, man, you got to it. spend the focus to modify his offense. So didn't have a focus token. Rolled the Dengar on a hit or crit. The attacker suffers one damage. Another attack into Nim here. Three damage going through. Uh, it's going to leave Nim on just one health remaining. Ooh, one more one more turn of Gamut. Gamut Key. Oh, actually, I don't know if he'll have, be able to use it. I don't know if he's range one of old T. Oh, no, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, you got to finish off Nim here. Get him. Yeah. Get him. Here we go. Hit crit. There you go. Oh, do That'll it. do it. Those Skurgs only have a single agility, and it laughs at you as it rolls and evade before it goes. Wow, well, that uh, that Dengar charge coming in mighty handy there. Clutch. Confirming the kill. Sorry about the dog barking, friends. 
wild animals hurtling through space. <laughs> All right. So now after that back and forth, Jonathan Wani Hall sitting at 51, 74 points for David Chabot. Um, so, I mean, does Jonathan have a window still? Um, and if so, what's, John what's the, what is the, what, what's the path forward? Where's your target priority? Uh, I think you, you had to disrupt old Tarak, uh, somehow, uh, while you try to finish off Talon Bane. I tell Talon Bane's going to be easier, I think, to take off the board. Cav was in a bad spot for at least a couple turns, so you can kind of ignore him. But you need, you need to make it a two-on-two -two real fast. Uh, C still has contraband cybernetics, right? Uh, yeah, so you, could, yes. you could three sloop here. Mm-hmm. But Can you're gonna you? be range one, yeah, yeah. You, right, got, you got it. You got it all day. Always, medium base always fits. <laughs> no, medium base never fits. <laughs> well, always, always fits. No matter what. Ah, uh, gosh. <laughs> I'm confident that fits. Uh, but you're gonna probably eat. Like I feel like both of these, uh, Talon Bane and Old Terak are gonna turn in on you though. So I'm gonna need those calculates. Could see just like a self bump, not self bump, but a uh, purposeful bump with Nom Lum and then just like a one bank from IGC. Mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Just to kind of jam up the works and then maybe mm. get some bump, uh, some. Okay. Two. Okay, I see this. Yeah, turning away from uh, Old T. You want to keep your calculates. Mm-hmm. And this way, maybe maybe the easiest ship to take off the board is Cavill. I mean, already shields down, so six hull on one agility. Yep. And there you go. You get the block on the ship that you wanted to. So you're taking away the action of Talon Bane. Cavill now sitting at range, what looks like range two of IG-88C. <laughs> then you just rotate and then... Yeah, it's kind of kind of what you need to do here. You gotta yeah. shoot. Yeah, especially because it's a three die gun. Cavill so good with that dorsal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, 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 how cheap it is too. It's just uh, yeah. How, what is this one pointed at right now? Forty five points to be a yeah. three dice turret, and you have the ion missiles now too. Oh yeah. Wow. I mean, I guess and, you can yeah. take torpedoes for two more points but the third charge on the ion missiles is just so good so much value yeah yeah i i i, th I like ion missiles just for that third charge mm -hmm. yeah you never had to worry about reloading them yeah It'll always be there for you not as i'm not i'm not as good as media uh, ionizing like large and medium base ships uh-huh yeah but th the way i think about it is even like it, it just increases your attack die one yeah. It does that, and then two. How often are you actually putting in more than one damage on most ships? Right. Um, with a three die gun, you know what I mean. No, I agree. I mean, especially and, just range three attacks, like if, yeah, uh, the two dice swing where you get an extra dice and they get one less dice. Exactly. I mean, yeah. That's that's huge. that's worth what point six uh, <laughs> points per attack. Yeah, uh, such value. Uh, Nom's action was double calculate. It's just hidden behind the ship. Yep. And, and just so you guys know, isn't... yeah, I, yeah, I think we're about to say the same thing. Nom Lom currently does not yeah, have pickles are the best. Old tea. Oh, we were not going to say the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh... I said, I said pick pickles are the best. <laughs> oh. No, yeah. wrong. Turns out we were not saying the same Old thing. Turok, uh, uh, <laughs> so he's doubling down. He really wants to get Old Turok's ability to go off here. Barrel rolling yeah, into arc. I think he has the shot. 
He's he already had the shot, but Nom Lom. No, yeah, he, he's he's getting in range one of Nom Lom's arc. That way, he gets both Concordia and his removes ability. all of yeah removes all of uh, the green tokens on Nom Lom. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Dirty. Yeah, because it's the person green tokens, looking. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, I just can remember if it was green team. tokens or focus invades. Nope, it's green tokens. It's uh, reinforce, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, calculates, evades. It used to be Everything. just, uh, it was called out um, focus and evades, I think. If I'm not oh, mistaken. interesting. So he could actually be range two in arc, but you're checking to see if it's range one and then if you're in the front arc. Yeah, that, right. That's it's, interesting. It, it's not range one attack arc. Correct. No. Interesting. All right, here we see the Nom Lum rotate backwards, forced. Ooh. This is going to be five dice. Talon Bane Talon doing Bane. what he do. Uh, lackluster hit crit. I mean, that's close to the expected result. And you're getting both. Yeah, I know, Mons. That's a shield and a crit, oh, yeah. friends. Ooh, blinded. Is, well, is he, he didn't have any tokens. Is so. he going to do the... Yeah, oh, the yeah, Dengar. Dengar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll the die, and that's a damage. Oh, man. Both Dengar. Dengar's going off here. That's crazy. Yeah. I never see that. Every, every time I bring Dengar Gunner, he misses. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Next shot. This is a range two shot from Old Tarak. One hit. Evades. No, oh, he has to rotate forward. Oh, that's smart. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, Tal- Talon Bane shooting first makes it to where Nom Lum can't shoot him back. Yeah, the power of being all the same initiative. One calculate would need to be spent in order to protect yellow from taking any more damage. That IG still above half points. And here's his opportunity to try, to try to get some revenge. Nom Lom's not going to be able to help him out. Here we go. Three hits. Or three dice. And that's going to be three hits after spending the calculate. And that's going to be hit, hit, crit going into Cavill. Let's see what we get. It is a wounded pilot for that Y-Wing. That means every time you do an action, you're going to have to roll a die. And that's especially important when you want to be rotating that turret to keep his shots on target. And with that, that does end up putting us at 74-74. Final salvo might end up coming up if we don't lose any other ships. One hit coming in from Nam Lom. Plenty of evades. Yep, no problem. It is something interesting that I've noticed with the 200 point. Uh, everyone taking taking list at 200 points is that we're getting a lot more of same same, or like like tied points. I've noticed it more frequently. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I. <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, I guess because there's less variation on the, I mean, obviously there's less variation on the number of points being brought in total. Yeah, I mean, that that makes sense. That would make sense why it would happen more often. Maybe it's just confirmation bias, but probably. That's what that's what I've noticed. I right, probably just see the 4K here from Nam Lum. Could see a 4K here from IGC as well. All right. Right now, looking at our event at the moment if you have not voted in the choose your side contest exclamation point choose and uh, we have right now a, a distinct advantage by the light side right now 51.5 percent to the dark sides 48.5 percent 
choose correctly and be a part of a exclusive winning side exclusive giveaways that are happening at the end of the final and you have until the end of this round to choose if you are going to choose white light side or dark side which one are you going with who are you teaming up with again voting will close at the end of round four and we will be committed. We were at a pretty close 50-50. This is the first time we've seen it lean to 51 and a half on the light side. The lights in my room do alternate depending on the current uh, state, whether it's light side or dark side. And obviously with light side ahead, we're gonna stick with the blue until something changes or if something changes. That's interesting because the dark side has more factions. It does. I, I figured for sure everyone would just like go with their the better odds. They're, they're following their heart, James. Hmm. I don't know. Rebels are like almost two factions in yeah. standings right now, though. Yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty true. Even. Uh, we did see a cybernetic boost. And then the IG-88C evade action uh, is something that's interesting about Contraband Cybernetics is that it is until the end of the round. So if you are performing multiple actions, I do get to perform them um, even while stressed. That's one thing that IG-88C does not like about advanced sensors is you can't do those boosts into evade actions because you're only allowed the one action. All right, so we're checking target lock here for old T. Trying to decide what ship he wants to lock. He ends up taking it on Nam Lom. Four die turret. There we go. Cavill's ability plus the Dursal turret for four dice at range one. That's going to be two hits. You brought a lock. Spend it. Not able to convert there. <laughs> Only two. The evade token will save IG-88C. Here we go. Talon Bane, range one, five dice. Only two results. Spend for three. And Nom Lom is going to end up taking only a single damage. Uh, there it were does some... push half points, though. I will receive the Dengar. Yes, indeed. No green token to spend. And oh, there's no the first damage, miss. Though. Two for three. Two for three. That's well, still pretty good odds. IG-88C going into Talon Bane. No, do primary. Come on. Don't do the auto blaster. He's going for auto, but he wants auto damage. Only one hit. And hey, re rewarded. Got a damage. First damage no, card on Talon Bane. The double crit would have been the reward there. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> Range one into Talon Bane Cobra. Trail mix. Into double saddies. That's going to be another damage on Talon Bane. I think that pushes Talon half points, over right? half as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, our yeah, score now, 98 to 100. Oh, David still goodness. just barely ahead. Yeah, and he's got he's in a good position here to get two range ones on Nam Lam next round. Talon Bane, hard ones to pursue. And Cavill just needs to, what, like one bank or one straight? Yeah, there's nothing that he can do to block either of those moves. 
Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, maybe a hard two barrel roll if you really are feeling. He has the hard uh, three, right? Uh, Nom Blomp, just real quick to the audience. None of, none of, none of these ships have hard three, except for me. Go Looks ahead, like Nom Lom did clear the blinded pilot. There's a couple people who were asking about it. Uh, it is on the overlay still, but it it did get cleared. No, it, it, he's still blinded. He is. Yep. He's on the bottom there. The green, the green ship on the bottom left. Oh, sorry. Mm. I'm looking on the wrong side of the thing. <laughs> Never mind. Never. Mind. That'll, that'll happen sometimes. This is, this is why we. <laughs> Uh, we're trying not to get uh, the same factions fighting each other, Dion. Yep. <laughs> it confuses Dion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, easily man. confused. <laughs> I will admit that. <laughs> All right. I'm hardworking, not... Uh, and I, 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 I would say I am... Smart thinking. <laughs> I, I, I'm... I, 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 I am hard hardworking and uh, just maybe a, at least average intelligence. Well, don't don't At sell least. yourself short. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think yeah, anyone of average intelligence could do what you've done. <laughs> All right, here's a boost. Oh man, it may have gotten rain or arc on um, lum, non lum there. Try and grab that booty. Yeah, it's really close. I mean, there's no reason not to focus here, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you're like trying to three bank or something. Also, nice try, Will. The Fang Fighters have hard threes. I was, I, I was going to say that the only ship on here is, uh, is the white hard three from OT. I guess, I guess Cal has got a red hard three. Oh, he does too. That's right. Don't make me sound yeah. crazy. <laughs> no, no, you're not crazy. <laughs> It's it's one of the sad things about the Kirax because I, mm -hmm. I really like putting afterburners on Talon Bane, uh, but not having the hard three to boost after is unfortunate. Yeah, because you only have the three straight or the three bank to use. Yeah, I mean, you, they, you have the 4K or whatever too, but yeah, and like, Ooh. yeah, the no hard three and the two Talon rolls really makes yeah, the, putting afterburners yeah. on them. Got not him. good. He That's in does arc. have it. That is in arc. All right, currently Nom Lom has four hole left. Let's see if Talon Bane can end up grabbing a little extra. Only a single hit right now, but it, has a target it, lock. Can you get a little more? A little something, something. And you got three. Full string going into Nom. Three on three. And that's going to end up dealing two damage. That means Nom Lom's down to two. Ooh. I don't think you Dengar here. No, you save it for no. Talon Bane. Yeah. Or Cavill. Okay. Getting one mm -hmm. more on Cavill could be closer to killing him. Yep. Yeah, I think you shoot Cavill here and then switch back to Talon Bane afterwards. Who's here wounded? Remember, they are all the same okay. initiative, so the Nom Lom can, in fact, save that Dengar trigger until Talon Bane fires, unless you go big brain and you just don't fire with Talon Bane. So, well, you could just shoot it at the IG instead. But if you can't kill Cavill, or sorry, if you can't kill Nom Lom, I mean, with Cavill, I think you gotta shoot him with Talon Bane. Oh, yeah. two hits, forcing, got one. Forcing him to shoot. Yep, Talon Bane. Mm -hmm. He's got some choices. He know he knows that 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 Dengar. If it hits, it's guaranteed damage. Yeah, you got to do it now. There it is. You got a four, man. Wow. Yeah, it has to do it now in case Talon Bane doesn't shoot at him. Uh huh. So uh, Dengar has now been used. Did an additional damage to Cavill. Talon Bane, five dice. Not looking for much, but he got two. Still needs a blank on this side. 
<laughs> saddies. That's enough. Mm. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Saddies. This is the saddiest game I've ever seen for <laughs> sure. On <three> dice. <laughs> yeah, we don't normally check the dice stats, but I think we're gonna. Yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm intrigued <laughs> now. <laughs> Man, this could be the end of Talon right here. Nah. Yeah. Oh man, it, it, there. So if if he'd gotten he's Talon being board. off the board there, I think that could have been a very close game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you could you kill Talon Bane. Then Kill you turn Cavill. It on Cavill. And then it's just one on one again, so T. Which isn't gonna be easy, but oh, at least no. you have like That's bombs and auto blaster. Yeah. You have, you have enough tricks to to Um you do you do you think we see a, a bomb drop here? Uh yeah, you bomb drop in four K. Yeah. So I that's guess a you seismic charge for anybody who, who's wondering what kind of bomb it is. Seismic charge. So you got that cloud, potentially go kaboom. Get yourself a Talon Bane Cobra and a one health Cavill, potentially, if they stay close enough. And remember, MOV does end up mattering in this tournament, and the, especially in the 4 and 2 bracket. I believe both of these players are... Undefeated, if I'm not if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Three, three and so uh, just in case you want to try to get as many points as possible, that seismic charge is money if he drops it, but he did not. No, he's wanted to turn in on uh, Cavill, potentially block Talonbane as well. Uh, Talonbane turned away, so we'll be safe for now. But will Does the IG be safe? There, there's a roll yeah. there for Cavill's wounded pilot, by the way. Heart two left means that old T is boosting in. Oh, and he got oh, the arc on the IG, stripper. too. Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. Just barely in <laughs> oh, man. Old T's old ability T. triggering there, <laughs> taking away the calculates from that IG. Is, that's massive. That's massive. Yeah, Talon Vane. Or, uh, not Talon Vane. Old, old Tirak. So good. What a ship. Three dies from Cavill. Potentially one hit. Might save it for defense. Nope. Going full offense. We got one. That's enough on the IG side. Talonbane won't have a shot this turn. And here is old T. Range one. Four dice. And might choose oh, yeah. full oh, violence you spend, here. You spend, you spend oh yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Just spend it. You got, you yeah. got your Concordia. Yeah, your Concordia. You're not going to die in one shot. They're going to shoot a Cavill. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing Get it. There was a little there. hesitation. Don't take your foot off the gas. Still does one damage. Elusive. Yeah. Elusive trigger. Still does one damage. All right, above half still. And the revenge shot. Smartly not going you, into you, old T. This is going into Cavill, range two. Do auto blasters for fun? No. Maybe. We'll never know. That's a damage, though. Cavill yeah. down to one. Still Oof. living. Oof. Two ships on one health. He's got a pretty good three sloop there, though. Yeah. You can get in behind old Turok. Talonbane stress, so can't do like a T roll or something. Yeah, I think that's the best, your best maneuver, right? Uh, well, I, I guess Cavill's, old T, I, old T could just look too hard and bear roll. I would love to see IG88B get in a spot where that seismic charge ends up doing something for him. Because at this point, because he can only <sighs> do, he can only shoot at one ship at a time. Like you want damage coming from somewhere else. That way, you you have an opportunity to to uh, to pull ahead here. Because if you can keep above half, you take out Cavill, take out Thailand Bane, then then you maybe have a chance. I still think that old T 
with uh, with time ends up probably winning that head to head. But IG eighty eight C could like do something about it at the very least. Yeah, so if he gets the other half of Cavill and Talonbane, that's going to give him 24 plus 22, 46, and that's enough. Well, I mean, yeah, he's worth 75 points. OT is worth 56. As long as he stays above half, but there's only one damage away. We will see. Remember, we have two more rounds of X-Wing coming up today. And there is the one bank. Calculate. Maybe just setting up a nice shot on Cavill there. Yeah, you're also in a spot where uh, both Talon Bane and Old T can't fire at you because of their current stress state. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what you were... Uh, talking about, do you want to say mm -hmm. setting up that seismic? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now, uh, now that Talon Bane has to think twice about doing the Talon. There we maneuver. go. Here we go. Taking the <laughs> steps. Wani Hall. He sees the window. Oh, that that oh. hurts a little bit. You really wanted to trade so, shots with Cavill yeah. this turn. Very smart move from David there. All right, well, the seismic drop is almost undoubtedly, undoubtedly coming out. Yep. Can you sloop or do you have to 4K? I think the 4K is open. Ooh, it is open. I thought it was going to hit the rock. It's not. The 4K is open. <laughs> is that the best move? I mean, you really can't, like, just run and disengage, can you? No, no, you need, you need, uh, you need some damage out there. <clears throat> Yeah, one damage on Cavill. One damage on a one agility ship. And then one damage on Talon. Well, I mean... So Talon being Cobra has to hard to and then barrel roll away from that gas cloud to avoid... He can't, he can't barrel roll. If he hard twos? Yeah. He's too close to the board. Well, he's going to have to try. He doesn't have any other maneuvers. <laughs> Well, he, 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 guess, he, he, can he can tell roll back, yeah. Uh, I think old T did clear the stress. Ooh. I don't know. I didn't see what color his maneuver was. All, All right, right so one. There's... No. Yeah, he did a white maneuver. Both of them did. Mm hmm Yep, so it's still stress. Yeah, maybe he was just banking in on doing the... Uh... The sloop. Or well, just like going for the going for the blocks intentionally. There Ooh, we go. That makes sense. The, let's see the seismic. Seismic right. goes down. All right, All you right. got a chance here. You got a chance. He's <clears throat> bumping. Oh, self bumps. Ooh. That what does that I do? Does that block a barrel <sighs> roll to the right if? Old Tirak goes too forward. I don't one. Two. I was just gonna oh, he, block he, him again. I I think that's outside of range one, right? Yeah, he might have bombed himself. Yep, agreed. Yep, tell me I'm gonna go back as far as possible. To oh, avoid that rock. Ooh, do you do, big brain, big brain here. Do you do the barrel roll or do you rotate? Oh, you barrel roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, one health. Well, yeah, but I mean, you could do some big damage in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, true. You got time. Two minutes left on the clock. Here we go. Not a problem. Rolls a crit on the wounded pilot. So it's going to be double stressed, but going to hit the gas cloud anyways. No big deal. And 
we'll see that bubble from the bacon. Nobody Ooh, okay. takes damage. Wow. So Talon Bane to shoot. Yeah, picked up a lock last round. We'll see if he spends it now or waits till range one. Two hits coming in from Talon Bane. <laughs> He's rolling them one at a time. <laughs> There it is. Oh, Two. my goodness. Got a little bit of lag in there. <laughs> Can't highlight them all. Okay. Uh, I think you saved the lock here. Settled oh, for the you did? Two. Yeah, still gets the damage through. Yep. Gets still the half through. That well. is officially half. Checks hull upgrade. No, no hull upgrade, Dion. No, 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 no. I, I double-checked. These agility shifts. <laughs> Do they not have a mod slot? No, but they're just, they're just it's just too expensive. Oh, on, on, on three oh. on three agility, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I would have liked the the four K more as well, but the the problem is is that old T would have also had you uh, a, a big mm. shot on you. And 4K, he's going bravely into the night. Coming out fighting. If you can catch yourself a cavil. And there we go. Coming out oh, swinging. I think, think cavil might have arc dodged as well. I think so. Ah, that's going to be really close. I think he's just barely in. Listen. If you're going to end the season, you're going you're gonna to end it big. You're, gonna, you're, 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 you're pop popping out here. This is a roll for the cloud, I believe, and takes a strain as well. All the red tokens. Get that boost in there, buddy. Yep, all right. So you obviously don't fire into old T here. You go into Cavill as you have a, a much higher, almost guaranteed. You just got to roll one hit, you take out Cavill. Uh, you just got to hope that Cavill doesn't hit you for too much, and maybe you roll natties against old T. Don't stop. Never surrender. Talon Bane from downtown. Three on four. Hit crit. Spends for three. Looking for natties? No. Only got one. Elusive reroll. Got two. The crit does still end up hitting. What crit do we end up got getting? It is oh. weapons. Oh, my goodness. Insult to injury. At weapons failure this game. I think we got some saboteurs on, on, on board, guys. Saboteurs, telling you. Hit crit. There's the natties. <laughs> I'm so confused at these green dice. <laughs> They're making this game a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. <laughs> Another range one shot. Yeah, Triple okay. focuses spend for three. No, sorry, you got one out the box. Make it a fourth focus. Give me the full set. How about a full set of hits? Four hits into three agility. That's going to be down to. Uh, oh no, is, that, is he gone? He has down no green. to zero. Yeah, down to zero. Yeah. That is <laughs> it. Wow. All right, man. Congratulations. David Chabot for winning this game versus Jonathan Hall. Well played by both players. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, 
Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.